Hi guys, a beautiful day out here in Crete in Greece. You can actually see behind me actually this, the beautiful um, mountains, the beautiful sea. It's an awesome, awesome day. I thought a really good video on hyperparathyroidism, too much PTH secreting around the body and looking at some of the main reasons, primary, secondary, and tertiary, which we'll go through in a second. Remember the parathyroid glands, we have four of them. They sit behind the thyroid gland in the neck, and there are different reasons why you may have a hyper parathyroidism picture too much PTA. So primary, secondary, tertiary, we start with primary. There's usually a problem with the parathyroid gland itself, an adenoma most commonly sitting on the gland pumping out too much PTH or sometimes hyperplasia as well. It can present with a high PTH level, a high calcium level, but usually a low phosphate level. And we tend to go in and treat it with surgery, for example, trying to remove the adenoma or certain medications like bisphosphonates or HRT, depending on individual patient circumstances. So primary hyperparathyroidism, probably the commonest. Then we have secondary hyperparathyroidism. This is where you have two little levels or low levels of calcium over time can eventually lead to increased secretion of PTH, leading to a hyperparathyroidism picture. And then you have tertiary hyperparathyroidism. Here you have long-standing renal disease, which eventually leads to autonomous production of uh, PTH leading to another hyperparathyroidism picture. Remember, hyperparathyroidism normally presents with high calcium symptoms. We'll cover those in a different video, but hyperparathyroidism, primary, secondary, and tertiary, much more like this on our PLAB, AKT, and GP entry courses, online training, and audiobooks. Hope this helps. Hashtag Campus Will Pass. Hashtag I went with Aurora. Goodbye from Crete.